let me just show you how much jewelry I have. This is my jewelry box that is absolutely overflowing with jewelry and super duper unorganized. But I'm gonna show you everything that's in here. I'm just gonna start with the jewelry that I wear every day because it's usually not in that box. I keep it in a separate container. This ring I actually recently thrifted like about a month ago. The ring is real diamonds, which is actually insane. I only know that because the engraving on the side, I was able to look it up and it's still like a ring that sold today. It's from Linger, but it's like a $800 ring and I bought it for $12, which is absolutely insane. And then this ring is a ring my boyfriend got me when we were dating for like a year. This is definitely my favorite piece of jewelry that I own. This necklace is a little Pandora necklace and it's my birthstone that my Nina got for me when I was like 16. I've worn this necklace probably every single day since my 16th birthday and I'm now 20 years old so it's been a while. Other than the necklace and my two rings, I do have earrings. I have these two that are like hoops on my, what is this called, my helix that are permanent, like not permanent but I can't take them out like I need clippers so I like would have to go to my piercer to like get them changed out. And then I have a date that I also cannot change out myself. So I guess those are also, I wear every single day because I just can't change them. But if I opt to wear something in this box, then I usually switch things out. But I usually leave these two rings on and the necklace is one thing that sometimes gets switched out. I think I'm going to start with earrings just because I, I think I have the least amount of earrings. And then start to go to like rings and bracelets and necklaces and all that. Also keep in mind, I don't know where everything's from because a lot of my jewelry is thrifted. But these ones are from Urban Outfitters. I just got them sent to me in a PR like kit. They're like little gold hearts with pearls that like dangle. And it came in a set with another like pearl hoop. And I usually wear them together. But, like I'll put on everything so that you guys can kind of see what it looks like better. Like a lot of hoops like formed the sh like shape of your ear. And I feel like you can't really see them unless you're looking at them from the side. But these are visible when you're just staring at me like from the front, which I absolutely love. I feel like they look really cool. Like look at that. This is a set that I usually wear together. My next earrings, these are kind of really old. I I think this is like the first pair of earrings I had ever thrifted. I don't even know what thrift store or anything. Just these like dark blue wire earrings. But I'm really a gold girl. And on the rare occasion that I do wear silver, I usually put these on. Or if I'm wearing something blue, because they're blue. Okay, these are really tiny, but I'm going to have to show you them on my ear because... You know, there's just no point to see them off of my ear. Got them from, I'm gonna link everything down below because I don't really know how to pronounce some of these things. So my thirds, I'm like gonna have to re-pierce right now because I haven't worn an earring in there in a while. I literally cannot get my thirds in. Like, it's like kind of hanging there, but like barely. It's like not all the way through because my thing, I might pull kind of close. But this is what the set looks like. It's really pretty. Like, it's just an all blue. Uh, ow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like re-pierce that hole now. Okay, I'm no longer putting things in my third like earlobe because it hurts, but would have gone in there if my hole didn't like close. But this is the other two in the set. This is a little cross and then this one's just like an orange jewel. They're like the exact same ones as the blue ones I just showed you. These little hoops are from, it's like 3mm, but I broke one of them like right when I got it. They're like really pretty, so I'm super sad that I broke it, but it's just like a green and gold hoop. These ones are just tiny gold hoops I got from Brandy. I swear every single girl in the world has these. It's like the everyday Brandy gold hoop. They're kind of tarnished. Okay, these are actually, I think, the only other silver earrings that I own. Just because I'm not really a big silver girl. It's just these little silver flowers. I think they're so pretty, but I actually don't think I've ever, like, worn them. They're really pretty. Like, I like how big they are. Like, you can really see them against, like, my hair color. And then I just have a million pairs of different size of gold hoops. I feel like every person has a set like this. I think some of them are thrifted, some of them are from like Princess Polly. And then I have these gold hoops that are like rainbow, just like rainbow jewels. And these are from Enroute Jewelry. These are some of my oldest earrings. Because my mom used to wear a lot of pieces like this and I always wanted some. These little dangly earrings that are like purple, like kind of dark red colored. And then my mom, when I got those, I showed them to her and she actually has a pair that are like a little bit of a lighter purple and she gave them to me. Like this. The other one just fell on the floor and I don't want to pick it up. I got these ones also like around the same time. They're just green and dangly. These are really pretty though. And then a friend from high school made me these because she used to like make jewelry. The trash can man is outside. <laughs> pause okay literally the trash can was can you still hear that i hope you can't hear that because they are taking forever and i'm impatient but these are the earrings that my friend made me in high school i used to wear them all the time but now they're like not really my style anymore but i keep them because it's like sentimental someone someone made them for me these are also from my mother 
Okay, they're just these little blue dangly earrings. I really like to wear these in like my second or my third so they kind of like dangle back behind my ear and then there's like other stuff going on in the front because I have three piercings on my lobes. Okay, these are fun. I think I broke one of them. These are the earrings. Like they're so, so pretty. I think I just used to like when like, I still do, like when an earring is kind of like in your hair. You know what I'm saying? Like it just like falls against your hair. I feel like that's so feminine and pretty, but I broke one of them so I can't wear them anymore. I have two sets of like 70s style earrings, but I made this one into a necklace, which I kind of regret. Really stupid. Don't know why I did this, but it's just these red like hoop earrings or not hoop. I don't know what it's called, but I took off the little earring part on this one because I was trying to make it a necklace, which is really cute in theory, but I just like didn't do it. Like it wouldn't sit right. And so now I just have one broken earring and then I have these ones, which I think are kind of prettier anyways. They're like, um, I think it's like sea glass that they're made out of. They're kind of see-through, but they're a light peach color. And I think they're so fun. And they're kind of like iridescent. Like if you like move around, they're like reflective. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna move on to bracelets. This is actually my newest. I bought this today. So good thing I didn't make this video yesterday. Just looks like that. I think it's so, so pretty. It's a little big on me though. So I have to wear it up higher or else it'll kind of like... I don't know like I, I like it when things like stay still I don't like it when like things unless I'm wearing like a bangle I don't want my bracelets to be moving around I also have this bracelet that's like a permanent um gold chains it's not a bracelet but it's like a bracelet it's a watch I got it from an antique store it has a little like pegasus inside of there I don't know if you can see that I have a certain set that I always wear when I wear gold bracelets and this goes on the left wrist that's how I always do it it's like gold and blue and green little bracelet then on my right hand like swirly gold chain layer it with this other gold chain this one has like a gold or no like a green little jewel on it which i think is so pretty and then i usually have another one i don't know where it is i don't know where it is but it, it pretty much just looks like this one so i guess i'll put this one on but this is like the set that i always wear during summer like every day because i feel like it just looks so like like fun and like put together i love having like things on my wrist especially during summer because like you're always sleeveless and gold, I feel like, is just so summer. I also just got these two gold bangles. That could be added to this. Like, tell me that's not, like, like, that's so cute. Like, you know what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, my main silver bangle, um, it's just, like, a clip-on. Thrifted it, basic, I don't know, good staple. All five of these bracelets were given to me by my boyfriend's aunt. She like gave me like a box of jewelry and was like, just go through it. Tell me like if you want anything and just take it. And I was like, no way. And like a lot of my jewelry in, in here is like from that day. But I really like these cuffs because I love to wear cuffs like halfway up my arm. Because like, I know I'm not standing right now, but when you're standing, it's like way more sick to like, you know what I'm saying? Like it just looks better when it's up here in my opinion than down here. You know, another one somewhere that's exact. It's just like a wooden bangle, but the other one's black. It's like the exact same stuff and i also like to wear them up on my wrist if you ever or this isn't my wrist this is my forearm and then i have this gold it's like dirty gold uh uh triangle i like the shape of this one this one you know, sits a little bit lower this one's made out of sea glass which i think is so sick i also like don't really wear color and so it's kind of fun to incorporate it in my jewelry if i can like that is so fun this one is so sick this is like a leather um it's like a buckle like a belt buckle i don't want to put it on i always need help i like can't put this on by myself and then it has this piece of turquoise why did i say it like that turquoise uh stone on the center and it just looks like this when you're wearing it but the back is like a huge belt buckle this is the other bangle i was talking about that's black um they're like the exact same thing if i'm ever wearing like a black outfit i put this watch on rather than the gold one these and then I just have this black watch. It's like the same shit as the gold one, but this one seems more sophisticated. This bracelet I don't actually wear, but I keep it because it's really sentimental. Uh, when me and Clayton were traveling Europe for a month, uh, one of our hostess actually left us both bracelets and the little card and like thanked us for staying at our Airbnb. And she was like a sweet little old lady and it was so nice. And so like, I keep this in my jewelry box just as a memory of my time there and I don't know i think it's really precious i have a few random like pendants or things that i buy and then i just put like a black or a white like something like this like a white cord and then i just wear the pendant as a necklace um i'll show those first and then i'll show you guys my necklaces so this one's definitely the coolest i got it in greece at a little like flea market thing that me and clayton went to on one side it's like warriors and gold and black and then on the other side it's like a different design i don't even know what you'd call this but 
I think it's so beautiful. Usually I just attach it to this black lace and I wear it as a necklace on whichever side I'm feeling for the day. My friend Sydney gave me this necklace um, last year or two years ago now, I guess, for Christmas. And it was a part of this really pretty, like a bunch of rows of beads. And it's just this metal um, piece that has like a, a jewel inside. And it would sit like this and it was beautiful. And I wore it so much. The clasp used to like, it would clasp on the front. And I don't know if I just wasn't being careful enough, but the metal part broke off. Hopefully, I'm I'm gonna try to like saw, and it's metal, so it's like I can't do it myself. I have to find someone who can maybe saw a little hole right here, so then I can at least still use this on like something else. And then I have this little heart. It's like a thick metal heart. I literally have a necklace that looks exactly like this, just not textured, from Urban Outfitters. They're literally selling this exact same necklace at Urban Outfitters right now. It's another pendant. It's just this gold. It's just this gold sun. I think it's beautiful and I really want to put this on a gold chain. I feel like uh, like it would look better as like a chain or something, but I haven't found the right one yet. If the lighting keeps changing drastically in this video, it's because I keep having to get up and charge my camera battery for like 30 minutes and keep taking breaks and it's super annoying. But now I'm going to be showing you my necklaces. This necklace is so cool. Kind of reminds me of something like, like Aztec like kind of vibes, but it's just all these little blue and red beads and then it has this little metal piece this one i got in like a random beach town i don't even really remember where i was but it's just this metal um necklace that has like all of this like blue beads on it super pretty like a purple amethyst necklace i wore this one in greece and it matches one of my skirts really really perfectly i actually wore it with this top in greece but this is what it looks like so pretty it's like one of those little like pull apart chokers, which I love because like sometimes I'm just like I'm done and like I need it gone. You know what I'm saying? And I have two of these actually, but this one is very like 2000s vibes has these little beads that I swear were in like my jewelry making kit when I was like 12. But it's such like good summer vibes like this is a good layering necklace like all the like chains at the bottom but, like this is at the top. You know what I'm saying? This one has the same like open um, neck thing and I was thrifting with Tara and she found this for me but look i love when like necklaces have like dangly pieces i feel like it's very eye-catching i got these two when i was in croatia and dainty and like it's they're all handmade it's just a bunch of gold coins with this green beading and it's so beautiful but look at that it's such a good length such a good choker again a bunch of just like flat gold pieces but just like on a way thicker chain this is like my vibe during summer. Like this is exactly what I want to be wearing, but like 800 more. This I bought from Urban Exchange. It's like a um, kind of like a consignment store and it's just this red um, stone on like a metal backing. I don't know how else to explain that. I used to wear this like every single day, like religiously when I first got into fashion because I think it was my only like cool piece of jewelry. This one and these two were my very first like fun necklaces. It's just like a metal swirl. I used to wear both of these necklaces like one or the other every single day with every single outfit without fail. I have a few pearl necklaces but this is probably the only one that I like really wear often. Like I feel like it's just so pretty and it's like not so in your face like most pearls are. I think because they're so much smaller. This was my first um like thing that I bought for my jewelry like collection that I knew I wasn't gonna wear ever or like not very often but it was so beautiful and like I just wanted to keep it pearl choker tell me for the right occasion that's not sick and I also think that when I first got this I wasn't super into fashion like I was starting to get into it but I wasn't very experimental or confident in it yet but i feel like now i could definitely pull this off and like with confidence this is a heart necklace that i showed you earlier Good, like basic necklace just gold yeah this is from en route jewelry this one actually is freshwater pearls and then it has this little jade bead at the bottom i used to wear this a lot when i first got it because i just i'm honestly a sucker for anything that has like a dangly this is a gold and like clear bead necklace. This is what it looks like. So pretty. This one's from 33mm. It matches the green bracelet I showed you from earlier. Just a gold chain with like green stones on it. Good layering piece for when I'm wearing a lot of gold necklaces. I don't wear this one often. I think it's just because if I'm wearing like silver, I have a lot of other necklaces that I choose rather than this one. But it's just this black and silver necklace with a little dangle. I wore so much when I first got it, which is kind of shocking for me because it's silver. I was just so obsessed with the idea of how like thick it is. It's this star 
with these black beads. So pretty. So, so pretty. This necklace kind of reminded me, I forget the designer, but there was a necklace that I know Hailey Bieber wore it on Halloween when she dressed as a vampire. It was like the beaded necklace that had the drips on it um, that looked like blood coming from your neck. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, it's kind of tangled. But this is what it looks like. Reminded me of the necklace a lot. So I got it because I thought it was sick. This is a glass stone that Kylie found for me at a thrift store. And it's just a really thick heart. This was so pretty and I broke it. So I want to try to fix it. But it's this cross. It's like that. And it's brown and gold. And it's beautiful. So beautiful. But I broke the clasp. So I need to get the clasp fixed. This is like my most worn necklace ever. Kylie also gave me this. It's this little um, black, I don't even know, thing. And you just tie it around your neck, but I literally wear this necklace like at least once a week, if not way more. I like, this is probably my most worn necklace ever. It just goes so well with like every single outfit. And then she saw how much I wore it. And so she went back and got herself one, but it's pink, which like fits her very well. And so now we have little matching ones. This necklace I wore so much over summer. This little gold chain and it has a blue cross on it. Literally nothing will focus anymore, but it's a blue cross, like metal beads on it. It's actually really cute. So when my mom baptized me when I was little, she was wearing this exact same necklace, but it was in baby pink and she still has it. And I thrifted this and showed it to her like a few months ago. And I was like, look how pretty this necklace is, not knowing that she had it in pink. And it's in red, which is so much more mean. The pink is so much more my mom. And she was like, oh my God, that's like the necklace I baptized you in. And I think that's beautiful. This is what it looks like. It's just red. It's missing a stone, which is so sad, but it's literally me in a necklace. And my mom has the exact same one in pink. And I was baptized with this necklace, which is cool. Okay, I'm just going to put on a lot of rings and then just show you them. I have these rings. These are like really chunky, big rings that don't fit any of the fingers I just put them on. But I'm just trying to go fast. We got these rings. Very cute, very cute. This one, the middle one's the coolest. It's like a little clock. And then this one on the end, it's like a Vivian Westwood ring. Oh my god, I forgot about this ring. I got this like a month ago. It's like a leaf and it has this little green jewel on it. This one matches the earrings that are like rainbow. You know what I'm saying? Like it just goes around, it's rainbow. And then this one, it's just like this gold. And I'm pretty sure it used to have a jewel in it in the center. These ones are from Pandora, and then this one's from 33mm. I have this big chunky one, this one that my friend Gavin's grandma gave me, and then this one that I stole from my friend Styles like five years ago. And then this one Gavin's grandma also gave me, then a little heart ring, and then this one, this little swirly thing. Then this one's really cool, I thrifted this one. It's like a belt buckle. And then this one's from Revolve, it's just a little swirly gold ring. The camera's about to die. So uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos, comment down below. If this cuts out in like two seconds, it's because my camera died. But I think I died, that's everything. I'll probably have another one of these videos in a few months because I buy jewelry like absolutely crazy. But I hope this was entertaining I hope you liked it. And I'll link anything that wasn't thrifted down below in the description. And yeah, so follow and like this video. Okay, bye guys.